No, please don't pull the trigger. No, no, so don't pull the trigger. <laughs> What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films coming at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do bullet hits. You also may have noticed I'm actually outside. And let me know if you like this style of video as I'll do them more outside. I also have a new camera so let me know what you think of the quality of that. Now for this tutorial I'm going to be using Footage Crate and Hit Thumb 4 Express. And without further ado, let's go on to the tutorial. Okay, so once you're in your editing software, I am in Hit Thumb 4 Express, what you want to do is go on to the Footage Crate website, which I have here, and you're going to want to go to the um, page it has got the horror and action and the blood impact. Now, I am using the meth blood messy impact, but you can use any of these and it will work. But make sure it's an impact one, not a one that's like this which is like just coming over the camera. So once you've got your um, footage, what you want to do is drag on your footage of the actual, um, in the where you're getting shot, and you just wanna trim that to the length that you want it. So I'm gonna have it to, just so you can't see me. And I'm gonna make that into a composition. Now once you're in this composition, the first thing you want to do is drag on the footage crate impact on, I'm going to do it on top. And then, once you've put it on, as you can see, it's already got a blank background, which is really good. But if it's got a black background, what you want to do is go to the effects and go to the demult effects, which gets rid of all the black. Or you can use the add blend mode. Okay, so once you've, um, standing there and you want to find where you actually get shot so to get the precise frame you're just gonna use the control the control and the arrow keys to just find it around there and then you're gonna position it where you want to get hit I'm gonna get hit about in the chest. I'm also going to make it a bit bigger. About there. So now we have this which I think looks cool. And there's my weird sound effects in the background. Now to make it look even more realistic I'm just going to add a quick gunshot sound effect and then I'll be back. Okay, so once you've got your sound effect, you're just going to drag that on. And I like to drag it onto the bottom to make it more organised for some reason, but it doesn't really matter which way you put it on. My actual sound effect actually came from the Footage Crate website on the Audio Crate section. So when you position this, what you want to do is have it just probably a frame or two before you actually get shot. So I'm quite happy with that. And now to make, to finish the effect, I'm going to make it more cinematic by adding a grade layer onto the top. Now what the grade layer does is it colour grades all the footage underneath it. And then I'm going to do my um, teal and orange colour grade that I have done. And if you watched my last video, I did showed you how to make this effect, which I think looks really cool. And it really lends itself to this kind of effect. No, please don't pull the trigger. No, no, so don't pull the trigger. <coughs> so there we go, we are done with the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you liked it outside. De be sure to like this video, subscribe, we're nearly on 70 subscribers. I reckon we could get to 100 before the summer. And until next time, bye.